Hi, it's Dr. Lori, and I'm back with more real bargains. Bargains that people like you are finding at thrift stores, estate sales, yard sales. I'm going to highlight Chinese pottery, some pearls, and also some great pieces of Murano. Stay tuned for this. I have permission to retell all of the stories from all of these people. Let's get started. The first up is an Adolf Tiedemann painting. When I first saw this painting from a video call, the video caller said to me, Dr. Lori, I knew this was something. I just knew it. I felt it. And I was like, this is great. He likes to collect paintings. He goes to a lot of different estate sales and different antique markets to find paintings. And this one was really pretty obviously a great piece. Um, Adolf Tiedemann is a German artist, German, Norwegian, works in both places, um, active in the 19th century, so in the 1800s. When I saw this piece, I knew that this piece was, of course, and told my video caller, a piece of what's called the Baroque Revival, which is when all these, these types of paintings that look like they're from the 1600s are actually repainted in a manner in the 1800s. So in the 19th century, the Baroque Revival is really pretty popular. It's usually scenes of figures indoors doing something, you know, having dinner, drinking, playing, singing, whatever it might be, playing a game, whatever it might be. So he sees this piece. He says, I knew it was something, Dr. Lori, and then I knew that I should do a video call with you to confirm it. I said, well, this is a great piece. Did you know the artist? He said, I didn't know the artist. I saw a label on the back it was $100, and I thought, well, the frame is probably worth at least 50 I can't go wrong for 50 bucks. If the painting's worth 50 bucks. I'm still okay at $100. I said, was that a lot for you to, to pay? He said, yeah, it's kind of a lot for me to pay for a painting, but I really liked it. Well, I really liked it too, and when I saw it, I was very surprised to see the Adolf Tiedemann information on the back from a very old auction label. And I was also happy to see the condition, which was beautiful in this oil on canvas piece. What's it worth? Hold on to your hats, people. $45,000. That's right. That's a real bargain. He's been watching the videos and learning about art, and he really scored on this one. My next real bargain comes from a video caller. And this video caller actually told me about being stuck during lockdown. She said, Dr. Lori, I bought this object that I want to show you when I was stranded in Naples, Italy during lockdown. She said, during the pandemic, I was actually in Naples and there was really not much that we could do. I couldn't get back home for a long time. So I had the opportunity, once we were allowed to go out again, to go to the flea markets or the mercados, the shopping markets around Naples. She said, I looked at pieces and I always look for costume jewelry now that I've watched your videos, your Real Bargains videos. I said, well, that's great. She said, I saw this piece and I saw the two Chanel, that's right, Chanel logo clasps, those two clasps together that come together to make the double C Chanel logo. She said, I saw the clasp, but it doesn't really make sense to me that that clasp would be on this necklace, which was obviously plastic Lucite Bakelite. So I said, well, what do you mean? She said, I didn't expect it to be, of course, this, this early plastic. So she sees this, this piece, this necklace, and it's got these beads, and it's pretty big and chunky. She said, I wasn't really sure, so I wanted you to confirm it. I think it's in the verdure manner. That's one, of course, of the lines that we saw from mainly cuffs and such, and usually uh, uh, pendant necklaces by Chanel. She said, it's usually in that, in that particular manner. I didn't expect it to be beads in this big, chunky, heavy necklace. But when I saw the, the clasp with the two C's for Chanel, I thought, I really better look into this. So I asked what the seller wanted, how much he wanted for it, and he said, three euros. Three euros, like $3.80 US, right? So, he, so she said, I bought it. I figured just for the, just the little clasp of the Chanel would be worth it, right? I get home, I bought your, your diamond tester, Dr. Lori, and I tested the diamonds and they were real. They were real diamonds on the actual clasp. Okay, so we've got a Chanel piece, which is very obviously, of course, a mid 20th century Chanel piece, beautiful, right around World War II era. And this piece is gorgeous, just gorgeous. For three euros, what's it worth? $5,000. That's right. With the diamonds, with the white gold of the two Chanel double C's, the logo, 
gorgeous and it was correctly marked as well. A beautiful example and really a real bargain too. This next real bargain comes from the a video caller who had gone to the Goodwill bins. You know the thrift store bins, too dirty for me. I'd have a hard time with the bins, but basically they go through the bins and they look through everything and they are able to in fact find this. So my video caller says, Dr. Lori, this thing has been sitting on our shelf for years. We bought it a couple years ago. It's been sitting up there. I didn't pay much for it. We found it at the bins. I said, well, how was it in the bins? And she said, well, it was in a box. And half of this cardboard box, a little gift box, half of this box was gone, missing. So I could only see half of it. Inside I could see that there was a, a round ceramic bowl and a little note in the ceramic bowl. And in the, in the ceramic bowl, the note read Blanc de Chien, which basically means, you know, Chinese white or white Chinese or white China. And what you're looking at there is in fact this white china piece. So when you see Blanc de Chien, you're basically looking at white china. This is a cream wear piece. Look at this piece and look at the design around it. Leaf and vine designs around a cream wear ceramic piece. Now, it had a little tip in it because it had that particular phrase on the little note in the box. But from the bins, my video caller said, you know what, for this much, for what they're asking at the bins, it's all, of course, priced by weight. So I'm going to definitely just put add this to my pile that I'm going to buy from the thrift store. Okay. So I said, do you know anything about this? She said, I don't know anything about this. Well, had an idea that it was, in fact, Song Dynasty, Chinese made. The Song Dynasty dates back to the 900s to 1200s AD. That's a long time ago, you know. So basically, this piece is really, really of a style and a type that's quite old, looking all the way back. So the style and the type is quite old. It's a beautiful example and not damaged because it was protected in this little box. Imagine, you know, you're at the bins and it doesn't get damaged because it's in this little cardboard box, even without half of its top. That's pretty good. So I said, well, this is a beautiful piece. Tell me how much you paid for it. He said, I told you, Dr. Lori, it's the bins, 50 cents. I paid 50 cents for it. Do you know how much it's worth? This is where you start to say, oh, well, the only valuable things are in art or the only valuable big numbers are in, of course, you know, jewelry or furnishings or, you ready? $2,500 is what this is worth. What a real bargain. A beautiful example of gorgeous creamware Asian ceramics. Gorgeous. I said, you're going to take it out of the box now? He said, yeah, I'm going to find a good place for it now. $2,500 for your 50 cent investment. The stuff is at the thrift stores. This next real bargain comes from the Dr. Lori class. And we have a lot of fun at the Dr. Lori class. I hope you'll participate in one of them very soon. Um, this one comes from, of course, one of my class members. And she said, Dr. Lori, I got this in an online auction. And I saw it and I thought, I have to buy this. I'd be silly not to buy this. Why did she buy it? Because she said, I knew it was Murano. She didn't recognize the maker until she did a little bit of research, Carlo Moretti, and it's signed too. This Carlo Moretti vase is a beautiful example of a design that is very well known for this particular designer. Abstract looking, very nice balance in this piece of glass, and of course, the signature tells the story. A Murano, of course, piece from Venice, Italy, made in Murano, and this piece is all clear, but it has this nice abstract design by the, by the maker. And he's very well known in his time period. A similar piece, I was happy to report, is also found in the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. So this was a beautiful bargain in an online auction. I said, how much did you pay? Should I pay $15 for it? $15 for this piece. It's a beautiful example. What's it worth? $1,200 bucks. That's right. It's gorgeous. I wouldn't be able to put flowers in it because I would just be concerned about, of course, ruining it in some way. But, you know, flowers or not, it was intended, of course, as a vase, and it's a real bargain, too. This next real bargain comes from a video caller who was at her favorite thrift store. And she said, I always look for jewelry at the thrift store, and I oftentimes will look in the glass case. So this one, this particular day, I saw in the glass case a tag on a strand of pearls that basically that said 
gold clasp, $35. So the thrift store recognized that there was a gold clasp and they figured, well, we're going to ask for more money because we've got a gold clasp. Okay. So they understood that, but did they understand what that gold clasp was holding together? And I was able to tell the video caller, no. <laughs> so she said, you know, I heard your voice, Dr. Lori, because you've often, often been known to say they don't usually put a gold clasp on fake, of course, pearls. And that's true. A fake strand of pearls usually doesn't have a 14 karat gold clasp. So in this particular case, her bet was right. She paid the $35 for it. And then she said, I, want, I didn't want to take out the loop and look at it in front of everybody with the loop. So I just said, okay, they're saying it's a gold clasp. I'm going to believe that it's a gold clasp. And basically I'm going to um, take the jewelry home, take the pearls home, and I'm going to compare them. And I'm going to compare them to a strand that I know that I have that was my mother's. This is really smart. And I've been known to do these types of things. You know, you basically know what you have because you've had something for years and years and years and you just compare it to that piece. So mom's jewelry is oftentimes a good idea as long as you know that mom's pearls were actually real cultured pearls. So having said that, uh, this particular piece, she brings it home, she double checks, and then she says, well, I got to make sure I confirm it with you, Dr. Lori. I told, I told her and I reminded her, you're looking for luster, you're looking for weight, you're looking for consistent color, and you're looking for size of the pearls. These pearls were eight millimeters. That's right, eight millimeters, consistent luster, consistent color, white pearls. A single strand, and she paid $35 for it because the thrift store was all like, oh, well, we've got a, a gold clasp. We better make sure that we get the money out of the gold clasp. But they lost all the money on the pearls. What are the pearls worth? She paid $35. They're worth $1,800. That's right, 18 inches, beautiful pearls. Wait for it. The same woman, the same video call, the same thrift store, guess what? A second strand of pearls. She paid $20 for the second strand because they didn't think that that was a, a gold clasp, so they didn't recognize it. Same thing, similar pearls. She paid $20. Bucks. They're worth $1,800 too. $3,600 out of two pieces of pearl jewelry because the thrift store was thinking about clasps and not thinking about pearls. Ah, that was a real bargain twice for that lucky video caller. This next real bargain comes from a video call, and this is a great story about Murano beads. Many of you know I love Murano. I love Murano beads, the Italian gorgeous, of course, hand-blown um, rods of Millefiori beads, terrific pieces. Beautiful colors, really lovely. Have some on the table here today too. And basically, Murano beads. So she finds these pieces and she looks at these Murano beads and she says, I wasn't letting these go. I was at a church sale and a woman came in with a, with a box of costume jewelry that she was going to donate to the church sale. I've been there a lot of times. It's a church sale ran, run thrift store. You know, the, some of the churches have a little store maybe on site. So she was there, the woman comes in, she goes, leaves this box, so she's in there a lot, and my video caller's in there a lot, and she said, I asked the people who run it, could I just wait until you price this, because I might want some of that. And they said, oh yeah, sure. So they tried to, you know, take, uh, take consideration of my time, and they priced the pieces, and they priced this one necklace, which was a very long, continuous necklace, 36 inches, pretty long, continuous necklace of beads, and she said, um, they priced it at $20 and I guess they were probably trying to help me and trying to move it along and then it was half price day so I got them for 10 bucks I got this very long necklace of of course continuous beads Millefiore Murano glass round beads and um, they had to be cleaned up a little bit so I brought them to my favorite jeweler and he cleaned them up for me but basically I wanted to know from you Dr. Lori what are they worth because I was really surprised to find that these pieces were, in fact, as beautiful as they are and as long. The other pieces in the box of costume jewelry that the woman donated, I wasn't interested in at all, my video caller told me. So she really found the diamond in the rough, or the Murano in the rough, I would say. Uh, value on these, she paid $10. Remember, it was half price day. And uh, it's worth $350 for this necklace. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And of course, you can't beat one of the most famous glass producing centers of Murano. 
this is a gorgeous example. Those are real bargains. I hope you find your real bargain real soon. I'm Dr. Lori. See you next time.